Why do I always give sex? <laughs> Why do I always give sex? Why do I always give sex? Why do I always give sex? Hello everyone, Powdered Milk here, and welcome back. And you know what today is? It's Tuesday. That means it's time for a reaction video. And you know, guys, remember the time I was reading fan fictions? Well, I'm no longer going to be reading fan fictions. I'm going to be listening to them. So, whatever's on here, I'm going to listen to and react to. Now, today's video is Shipping Goggles. Uh, a comedy romance random fanfiction, all read by one of my favorite fanfiction reading YouTubers, The Lost Narrator. I thank you, The Lost Narrator, for making these awesome fanfiction readings, because I especially loved it when you did The Lost Narrator Origins, and I also loved it when you did um, the, um, what was it called? The Candy Mare? I loved the candy mare. Oh, no, no, it wasn't candy mare. It was something sweet to bite. I love something sweet to bite. It was one of my favorite horror fanfics. There are very few. I, I'll be honest. I've never seen, read this one. I've never actually listened to this one or read it. And I've been limiting the, them for a reason because I knew there might be a purpose. And I'm also picky with my fanfiction, so I'm actually going to listen to this. I don't normally read these fanfictions comedy fanfictions, but I will for this case, because I want to see how bad these get. I do know that fanfictions fan get really bad and cringy, and I the best part is I, I get to listen to it in the Lost Narrator's voice. Lost Narrator, I love your voice. I just love it. It just makes the stories perfect, especially when you read Grimdark. I love it. So, I will leave a link to the description for uh, this video and uh, the Lost Narrator's um, uh, uh, channel, because, uh, you know, copyright and stuff like that. So, here we go. <sighs> was she imagining it? No. No, of course she wasn't. There was something about the way they looked at each other, something undeniably tender in the gazes they exchanged in the affectionate little touches they gave, and in the barely restrained lust underlying it all. Although perhaps lust wasn't quite the right word. Whatever the two of them shared was certainly far too pure to be sullied by such a dirty word. After all, they were so young, so inexperienced. Well, Pinky was, at least. Rarity couldn't have said for sure about Rainbow Dash. To be honest, she wouldn't have put it past the Pegasus to already be familiar in the ways of the flesh. Still, inexperienced or not, there was something bright and innocent about the two of them. Even if Rainbow Dash did know a little bit more, um, certain things than Pinky did, she was likely still ignorant of true passion. Neither of them had been in a relationship before, after all, the poor dears likely didn't know where to begin. But the longing was there. The desire. Even if they didn't actually know what to do with such feelings, Rarity could still see them, and it excited her like nothing else. What else could it be? Ah, young love, Rarity thought. A dreamy expression on her face. Such a beautiful thing. The two ponies in question remained oblivious throughout her entire internal monologue. They laid collapsed on the floor of the bakery's kitchen, giggling like mad mares, their manes flecked with white, and Pinky's daintily little tongue stretched to improbable lengths in order to lap up at the cream still on her face. While exploring the basement of Sugar Cube Corner earlier, Pinkie Pie had accidentally discovered a stash of aerosol cans of whipped cream and had promptly challenged Rainbow Dash to a whipped cream eating contest. But about halfway through, the challenge had stopped being about eating the most cream and had instead become about emptying the cans as fast as possible. Even if that meant having a whipped cream fight and crashing about the kitchen in order to spray one another. Now, the entire bakery was absolutely covered in tufts of fluffy white sweetness. 
It looked almost as though it had been snowing indoors for some reason. Countless pots and pans were scattered across the room, a direct result of the two of them clattering about the kitchen and bumping into tables and counters as they chased each other. Oh man, that was totally awesome! Rainbow Dash snickered, lifting her hooves to her face to try and wipe the cream off. But seriously, the cakes are gonna be mad. We should clean this up before they get home. Easy peasy, Sassy, it's whipped cream. All we gotta do is eat it. Pinkie Pie, you're crazy! And the two of them, still caught in the throes of their individual sugar highs and still giddy from the insanity of their afternoon, collapsed into yet another pile of hysterical giggling laughter. Why are we here again? Twilight hissed urgently to her two companions. I thought we were just picking them up so we could all go to Applejack's. How did it turn into this? Fluttershy shrugged meekly, but Rarity didn't even seem to hear. She was too distracted to notice. Off in her own little world. Eat it. The white unicorn repeated faintly. Why? Please stop. Straddling the pink mare's waist, Rainbow Dash pushed Pinky down so that she was laying against the floor. Grinning, the Pegasus leaned forward and brushed Pinky's mane from her eyes. Oh my. She murmured, lifting her eyes suggestively. Why? All this cream. Oh my god. She'll probably clean it up before the cakes get home, huh? <laughs> Pinky giggled. Oh my god. Seductive, oh my god. Four legs oh my god. <laughs> and drawing her closer. What a help, Dashy. <laughs> what kind of she fan fiction is this? I can get it all by myself. Well, let's see. Dash bent her head, pressing a gentle oh kiss against the crook of Pinky's neck. In a soft NSFW. Oh my god. The cream, lapping it up, tongue still peeking out of her mouth. Rainbow began to. How did you just wish you had alcohol? <laughs> Although Rainbow Dash and Pinky remained blissfully ignorant of Rarity's train of thought. Upon seeing her glassy-eyed stare, Twilight and Fluttershy exchanged looks of alarm. Is she? Fluttershy whispered, eyes wide with panic. No doubt about it. Twilight confirmed in a whisper of her own, nodding grimly. She's not even upset about the mess they made. This could be bad. <coughs> the yellow pegasus squeaked in fear. Hey, weren't we supposed to go to AJ's? Rainbow asked from the kitchen. Oh no! You're right! Oh, definitely! So sad we forgot! We gotta get going! Oh, so sticky! Rainbow Nash began to flap her wings, waggling her tail and shaking it like a wet dog, sending even more little flecks of white cream flying into the air. Twilight flinched, quickly casting a magical barrier between the kitchen and the adjoining living room to protect the three of them who were waiting so patiently. As Pinky scrambled to get upright, she slipped on a splotch of cream and almost tumbled backwards. But Rainbow Dash swooped down just in time, catching her absent-mindedly. <gasps> Rarity gasped softly at this gaily display of chivalry. We totally need baths, Rainbow Dash said casually. Oh no! Too. Oh no! I can see. I can just see what Rarity's seeing. I can see it. Keeping them over her pounding heart. She whispered, eyelashes fluttering. <laughs> the warm water splashed gently as the two mares giggled in the tub they shared. They... Rarity! Hmm? Rarity blinked, shaking her head to clear her thoughts before turning to face Twilight. It was as though she was coming out of a daze. A dreamy smile played on her lips. What is it, dear? She asked sweetly. Ugh. Twilight sighed, rubbing her foreleg with a hoof. Fluttershy's gaze flickered nervously between the two of them, but the way she stood at Twilight's side seemed reminiscent of an intervention. Just then, Rainbow Dash stuck her head through the doorway leading from the kitchen no. to the room where the three stood. Sorry, guys! She called, 
apparently unaware that she and Pinky had been speaking plenty loud enough to have been clearly audible until then. We kind of lost track of time. Give us a sec and we can go. Why do you always get sex? <laughs> she asked. A single, extraordinarily unladylike and immature snort bursted from Rarity when she did. Can't we ever get minutes or hours or days or... Of course, darling. Take all the time you two need. Rarity graciously allowed with a benevolent smile upon recovery. Oh my god. It remained exactly where it was. Did I hear her just think I heard? With her eyes, Wait, go back. Watching as the two of them practically skipped out of the bakery. We kind of lost track of time. Why do we always get sex? <laughs> to have been clearly audible until extraordinary audible speaking plenty stood. Vention. Flickered nervously between she was coming out of a day. Where is it? Give us a sec and we can go. Why do we always give sex? <laughs> Why do we always give sex? Why do we always give sex? Why do we always give sex? Give us a sec and we can go. Why do we always give sex? <laughs> she asked. Oh my God. A single, extraordinarily unladylike and immature snort bursted from Rarity when she did. Can't we ever get minutes or hours or days or... Of course, darling. Take all the time you two need. Rarity graciously allowed with a benevolent smile upon recovery. The smile remained exactly where it was as she followed her two friends with her eyes, watching as the two of them practically skipped out of the bakery, still giggling and bumping into each other. Although with Pinky, there was no practically about it, she quite literally hopped. The moment they had left in search of their rain cloud, Twilight took a firm hold of Rarity's shoulders twisting the other unicorn around to face her so that they were eye to eye. Rarity? She said gently, It's wonderful that you care so deeply about your friends. But this needs to stop. You can't do this again. Fluttershy nodded in agreement, looking ashamed of it all the while. Rarity blinked. Why, whatever do you mean, darling? She asked, puzzled. Oh god, it's moving up, it's moving up, it's moving up, it's moving up. We know what that look means. It means that you're seeing things that aren't there. Twilight patiently explained, trying her best to sound understanding in spite of her frustration. But it was understandable that she was frustrated, wasn't it? After all, this is tells me Rarity Shexter really frustrated this conversation since she had arrived in Ponyville. We know you love your friends. And we know we love each other, too, but not that way. I can't hear my Rarity voice very well. Shrugging Twilight's hooves off of her shoulders before daintily lifting her own to brush them off. I simply don't know what you're talking about. Think, Rarity. Doesn't this seem the tiniest bit familiar? I will honestly, though, I would ship Rainbow. I would Twilight ship Rainbow and Pinky. I would. Burying her face in her hooves. Fluttershy, help me out here, please. She pleaded. Well... Um, wait. Yet again, there's a lot of things I'd ship. Uh... Fluttershy stammered, her face turning a brilliant shade of scarlet. You, you kind of have a habit of, um, well, you see. You have a habit of making assumptions, Rarity. Twilight cut in after a moment of Fluttershy's nervous stuttering. You see ponies doing things together, perfectly normal, everyday things, and you take them out of context. We know that you're a romantic at heart, but you can't just assume things. I never assume. Rarity cried, taking on a grand air. I'm insulted that you would even imply as such. Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie were just fooling around. There was nothing deeper to <laughs> And Rarity gasped. You saw it too. All delusions of Grandier temporarily forgotten as she swept forward, seizing Twilight Sparkle by the shoulders for <laughs> Well, of course you did. It's so obvious. No, that's just it. They were just being themselves. Silly and playful, but that's all. That's what I mean by you taking things out of context. And again, Twilight sighed in exasperation. Uh -huh. Oh god, I feel you, Twilight. I feel you. ...close to one another without secretly being in love. But, but, it's so blatant. How can you not see the longing in their eyes when they look at one another? As their friends, shouldn't we be supportive of them? Blossoming romance. <laughs> there is no blossoming romance. Fluttershy. Rarity declared, whirling around to dramatically point at the now cowering Pegasus. 
You're a pony after my own heart, you poor thing. Surely your sense of romance allows you to see what Twilight is missing. Um. And Fluttershy squirmed. Um, well? Now that she thought about it, though, Rainbow Dash and Pinky did seem unusually close. Perhaps it was not necessarily that close, but, well, they did tend to hang out together fairly often. They could often be found together, and did tend to turn to one another first whenever the group needed to split up for some reason. And Pinkie Pie was the only one in their circle of friends, allowed to call Rainbow Dash Dashy. And no pony else had such a pet name for her, and Pinkie had grown <coughs> rather jealous of Gilda. Actually... Fluttershy began slowly, voice soft and hesitant. Maybe... No! Twilight shouted. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, why? Fluttershy blushed. Oh no. With a squeal, she abruptly stopped. Oh no. Shrinking behind her protective curtain of hair. No, darling. I apologize for that, didn't I? Rarity rushed to reassure the trembling Pegasus, affectionately stroking her mane as she shot a glare at Twilight Sparkle. It was a misunderstanding, that's all. But I truly thought that you two were, you know, so embarrassing. Yes, misunderstanding, that's precisely it. Twilight. This is so fucking cringy. You have all of these romantic notions, and then you find a way to interpret even the most innocent of interactions as evidence justifying a non-existent relationship. It can be endearing sometimes. But it's also risky. Well, I don't see how it can be risky. Rarity began to argue. But Twilight cut her off with a wave. Please, of her hoof. Rarity, stop where you are. Could encounter a lot when you had the epiphany that I was in love with Princess Celestia. She asked curtly, blushing slightly. Rarity, at least, had the presence of mind to look guilty at the reminder. Not only were you wrong, but you almost caused a massive scandal. Imagine what ponies would have thought. The rule of Equestria, the benevolent princess of the sun carrying out an illicit affair with your underage pupil? It would have been unhealthy and illegal. It would have been cute. Rarity muttered, but cast her eyes downward all the same, looking ashamed. It's okay to pretend, I guess. But honestly, Rarity, please don't jump to conclusions. Twilight pleaded weakly. At least, not unless something actually happens. If Rainbow and Pinky ever actually do get together for some reason, then, well, of course we'll be supportive. But until then, maybe you shouldn't be so uh, passionate in your support of their love. If you have nothing but suspicions to go on, don't act like it's already happened. Fluttershy added in a whisper, seemingly having found her voice. And maybe you shouldn't try to force it either. Especially when it doesn't even make sense. It can be kind of scary when you do that. You get so, so... Worked up? The Lavender Unicorn suggested... Every freaking otaku in the universe. Side. What her friends were saying was logical. This is what Rarity is. Although it would have Rarity is an otaku. Secretly. Matchmaker for her friends. She is a shipper. Push they needed to I know shipping. I do, I do whole bunch of shipping. Uh. Another... That was obviously laid just beneath the surface, allowing their emotions to finally erupt like a volcano of fiery love. But perhaps she should humor them. After all, Twilight and Fluttershy looked so alarmed. Luckily, Rarity had spared the need to think of an appropriate response by the sudden reappearance of Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie, who bursted through the door together, crashing back into the bakery as noisily as they had initially entered. Although Rainbow Dash was dry, Pinky was still dripping wet. Okay! Pinky sang, hopping in place and sending little droplets of water flying into the face of her friends. We're ready! Don't you want to dry off first? Twilight asked, looking relieved at the interruption. Nah, it's super duper hot outside, and it feels super duper good right now. <laughs> Pinky giggled. <laughs> she had a way of speaking that made every word sound like a laugh, bubbling from somewhere deep within her. Then she sneezed. The thing is, if you have a dirty mind, you can take anything out of context and turn it into something dirty. Hmm. 
Hmm. A yellow Everyone has that one friend who where makes everything sexual. From where she stood, within a matter of seconds, Pinky's fur and mane had fluffed out once again, fully dried by the light of Twilight's magic. Oh, wow! Pinky gasped. That felt amazing! Do it again, do it again! No, 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 no! Twilight answered lightly before trotting towards the door, casting one final meaningful look back at Rarity. Twilight, you're amazing! You're the smartest smarty pants unicorn ever! Isn't that right, Dashy? Yeah, I guess. Rainbow Dash answered, sounding bored. No. Could it be? Of course. That made so much sense. No wonder no. Twilight had been so upset. No. She had been jealous, the poor dear. Oh no. So oh no. Well. A love triangle, perhaps? No. Rarity had never even suspected no. such a thing. No. But the more she no. thought about it, no. the more it no. made sense. No. After all, they were such opposites. The chaotic baker, the strictly structured scholar, each of them clever in their own unique ways. And opposites attract, right? Please stop. And it was so utterly Please stop. terribly cute. Perhaps stop where you are, Rarity. Pie had been. Because Rainbow Dash and Pinky were so utterly similar, there was no conflict to make it interesting. But this, this made so much sense. The allure of forbidden love, forbidden by not society, but by their own fears Rarity. and limitations. Rarity, stop. Against the world. Against all odds, oh, Rarity could simply die. It was so perfect. As the five of them walked to Sweet Apple Acres together, Rarity remained silent, carefully observing the couple's interactions. And contrary to what she had deluded herself into believing, Rainbow Dash and Pinky weren't automatically drawn to- Oh my god, you guys are probably laughing at me right now. Dash oh god. Her head with Fluttershy, while Pinky and Twilight chatted easily together in front. Was she imagining it? No. No. Of course I do not endorse that. Rarity had to suppress a squeal of delight. No. No, we're getting into it. No. Later that night, under the cover of darkness, a certain rainbow-maned Pegasus slipped unseen into Sugar Cube Corner where she was greeted eagerly by the curly-haired baker within. This is so awesome! Rainbow Dash muttered in between kisses. It's so funny that no pony even knows about us. You'd think it'd be obvious, huh? <laughs> no. She giggled before waggling her eyebrows suggestively. Oh, hey! I think I have some whipped cream left. Wanna have some fun? No! Rainbow Dash snorted a laugh. <laughs> You're totally crazy, you know that? But that's why you love me. Yep, that's why I love you. Still giggling, the two of them kissed once more. And then, they had sex. The end. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I wanna cry. Why is this thing? Lo Lost. I love your work. But what the fuck? I actually know some of these people. I, re I recognize him from the previous uh, things. Oh god. Oh god. I'm, I, 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 I think I just had an angerism. Oh god. This is what I look like. From the outside. Must be what boss feels like when I'm a dumbass in public. I'm gonna be honest. I like your guys' picture. Seriously, right there with the Danny Phantom feature? Yeah, that's awesome. I'll give you that. Um, the Danny Phantom pony, pony. That's really cool. Um, anyway, guys. Um, 
If you guys like this video and you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button and also hit that subscribe button and hit also slap that like button. Also make sure you leave a comment. Love to hear your views and everything. And remember you can always follow me up on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus if you're there too. And I think that's about it. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.